हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन अवर चैनल ई फंडा न्यू डे न्यू टॉपिक एंड टूडेज टॉपिक इज हजार एरिया क्लासिफिकेशन वॉट यू नीड टू नो दिस विल बी अ पार्ट टेन एंड वी विल बी शेयरिंग दिस टॉपिक इन पार्ट इन पार्ट टेन वी विल बी कवरिंग हजार एरिया क्लासिफिकेशन बेसिक इंट्रोडक्शन एंड द सिलेक्शन ऑफ इक्विपमेंट and if you are new to our channel please watch our engineering video series related to different engineering topic and may be useful for technical knowledge and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get latest updates and review let's begin with our today's topic that is hazardous area classification basic introduction and selection of equipments as discussed earlier we will be presenting hazardous area classification in parts in today's topic that is hazardous area classification introduction and selection of equipment part 10 that is this video and hazardous area classification recommended protection method other classifications and certifications part 10a will be shared separately hazardous area meaning a hazardous area is defined as an area in which the atmosphere contains or may contain in sufficient quantities flammable or explosive gases dust or vapors in such an atmosphere a fire or explosion is possible when three basic conditions are met one can see in a below figures component of a hazardous area that is oxidizer ignition source and flammable substance when these three components are come together to form an a triangle that is fuel oxygen and ignition source so there are the chances of a presence of the flammable or explosive concentration we will move on to the definitions of hazardous area definition 1 petroleum rule as per 1976 an area shall be deemed to be hazardous area where petroleum having flash point below 65 degree celsius or any flammable gas or a vapor in concentration capable of ignition likely to be present definition 2 as per is 5572 hazardous area is an area in which an explosive gas as atmosphere is present or likely to be present in quantities such as to require a special precautions for the construction installation and use of electrical apparatus hazardous area are defined by three main criteria that is type of hazard the likelihood of the hazard being present in a flammable concentration the auto ignition temperature of the hazardous material the hazard will be in the form of gas vapor dust or a fiber this is all about the hazardous area further we will see in detail hazardous area classification there are basically two major standard governing to hazardous area classification one classification in accordance with international electrotechnical committee that is iec classification in accordance with national electric code that is nec iec classifies hazardous area in zone whereas nec classifies hazardous area in classes and division one can see in a below picture where the areas are indicated where the applicable standards are used for hazardous area classification nec that is a compulsory shown in a red color whereas other indicative colors are defined for respective zones and area this is how the hazardous area classification used worldwide moving on to hazardous area classification class division system versus zone system class division system basically consist of class class 1 class 2 class 3 divisions are division 1 division 2 and groups are again further divided into group a group b group c group d group e group f group g now moving on to zone system where zones are made up in two types zone for gas and zone for dust zone for gas are zone 0 zone 1 zone 
zone 4 dust are zone 20 zone 21 zone 22 and further groups are classified into group 1 group 2 group 3 and group 2 is further classified into group 2a 2b 2c and group 3 further classified into group 3a 3b and 3c this is how the hazardous area classification divisions are made IEC hazardous area classification is basically covering the zone zone 0 highly flammable for long period flammable atmosphere present continuously typically 1000 hours per year zone 1 flammable during normal operation flammable atmosphere present intermittently typically in the range of 10 and 1000 hours per year zone 2 most safer zone flammable atmosphere present abnormally typically as a result of a process fault condition typically less than 10 hours per year one can see in an example where the rooms are shown where all the conditions are defined one can see conditions in a description similarly the example of a petrochemical or a petrol pump where zone 1 zone 0 and 2 are defined and classified how the classifications are shown NEC hazardous area classification refer below table where gas or a vapor that is a class 1 division 1 class 1 division 2 dust is a class 2 division 1 class 2 division 2 fibers and flyings class 3 division 1 class 3 division 2 one can see in an example where the conditions are defined one can see the condition 1 2 and 3 for detail please go through the description similarly the petrol pump where the division 1 and division 2 classifications are made for better understanding in similarly the left uh, sketch where division 1 and division 2 are indicated where the uh, division 1 is indicated in a red color and division 2 are indicated in the yellow color this is how NEC is classified hazardous area classification NEC and IEC type comparison basically this covers in a table that NEC that is a division 1 and division 2 IEC that is zone and comparisons are shown in a table division 1 is equals to zone 0 and zone 1 from IEC division 2 is equal to zone 2 of IEC where the description and definition remain same as what we have seen in the IEC further for better understanding zones and division figures are shown that clearly indicates how the divisions are classified and how zone 0 1 and 2 are classified in attach below pictures hazardous area classification relevant international standard api rp 500 area classification of a petroleum installation iec 79-10 1995 edition electrical apparatus for explosive gas atmosphere part 10 classification of hazardous area ip part 15 1990 edition area classification code for petroleum installation BSEN 60079-10-1996 edition that is electrical apparatus for explosive gas atmosphere part 10 classification of hazardous area BS 5345-1983 edition selection installation and maintenance of electrical apparatus for use in potentially explosive atmosphere other than mining application or explosive manufacturing Part 2 recommendation for particular industrial situation. The referred editions are the old editions where the standards are defined. One can refer to the latest edition of the standard so as to get the updated changes with respect to relevant international standard related to hazardous area classification. Selection of a electrical equipment in hazardous area. Selection criteria. One is a gas grouping based on ignition energy. 2 temperature classification 3 classified zone IEC gas grouping mining group 1 that is methane surface industry group 2 2a propane 160 microjoules 2b ethylene 60 microjoules 2c hydrogen acetylene 20 microjoules 
Similarly, in NEC gas grouping, gas group A acetylene 10 microjoules, group B hydrogen 20 microjoules, group C ethylene 60 microjoules, group D propane 160 microjoules. Classification of a flammable gases and dust in groups where one can see IEC and NEC classification based on the gas group and the dust group. Refer the table and study very carefully. Moving on to the selection of electrical equipment in hazardous area based on the temperature classes. Hot surface can ignite explosive atmosphere. To guard against this, all electrical equipment intended for use in potentially explosive atmosphere is classified according to maximum surface temperature it will reach in a service. This temperature is normally based on the surrounding ambient temperature of a 40 degree Celsius that is 102 degree Fahrenheit. This temperature can be compared to the ignition temperature of the gases which may come in contact with the equipment and a judgment reached as to the suitability of the equipment to be used in that area. Refer the table for temperature class and the maximum surface temperature in degree Celsius. T1 450 degree Celsius, T2 300 degree Celsius, T3 200 degree Celsius, T4 is a 135 degree Celsius, T5 is a 100 degree Celsius, T6 is 85 degree Celsius. EXD typical marking EEXD 2BT5. Bigger the T, lower is the ignition temperature. The T class on the equipment states that the equipment will not provide a ignition capable surface hotter than the temperature represented by the stated T class. For the equipment in hazardous area, the bigger T number on the equipment, the less hot it will get or the device. With this, we are moving on to the last section that is IEC NEC gas group chart, IEC NEC temperature classification comparison, safe equipment operating temperature where temperature and their ignition classes are also defined. Red color is explosion danger, yellow color is equipment safe to use. This is how the classifications are made. Please refer this table and study carefully for better understanding of hazardous area classifications. With this we are concluding on today's topic hazardous area classification, basic introduction and selection of equipment part 10 and part 10a will be separately published. Keep watching eFunda and watch all our engineering videos topic by topic. And if you are new to our channel then subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press bell icon. Thank you. Keep watching eFunda.